Got it. <clears throat> Welcome everyone to the Asia Pacific Community Call on August 10th. Um, we have the meeting minutes are in the chat, but I will put them in one more time. Please feel free to add your name as an attendee. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but we do like to say hello and kind of keep track of how many people attend these meetings. So it's always helpful to have that information. I'm going to sure. let, I'm going to probably let Yahui uh, take the reins on this and lead this meeting because <laughs> I know he wants to talk about the, uh, the SAS platform as well. So um, yeah, I see some notes there that have been added. So sure, sure. So now I'm start sharing my screen. Can I say it? Yes, yes, we can. Sure. <clears throat> Actually, we just <clears throat> met like uh, 21 hours ago. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> not that long yes. ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not that long. So I, I just want to mention the, uh, the meeting we uh, attend uh, this, ter this week's community meeting with Elizabeth and Shane and other people uh, last night for, in my time zone. So I yeah. introduced our plan of the uh, uh, this uh, this SaaS platform for the chaos matrix model. It looks like it's really a uh, proactive. Yeah, I got very uh, proactive feedback from our community members. So I'm very appreciate it. And uh, here uh, after the meeting, I I have some con conversation with with uh, uh, my friends. Uh, from Gatey and also from some other uh, companies and organizations. We discussed a little bit about the name of this service. So so I remember Shane gave us a, a suggestion uh, of this service of, for the English name, it's um, a, board, a chaos dashboard. And so here we have another new opinion that uh, we oh. choose to chaos compass. Uh, I love it. Yeah, this is actually the inspiration from the you know uh, pirate of the uh, Caribbean, Jack Jack's uh, compass. I love it. Yeah, it's <laughs> points to the thing you want most in this world. I think it's really you know match with the the spirit of the matrix model. Uh, you know, for the different you the uh, uh, personnel, you, no matter your uh, uh, community manager or developers or OSPO peoples uh, for the different role, uh, who is gonna look the uh, this matrix model. Maybe they have the different purpose and uh, hope so they would uh, utilize this or uh, they would like, they would use our matrix model to achieve their own specific goal. Yeah, so that's our suggestion about English. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Chaos no, I think it's I think it's a good name. And uh, for those of you who weren't in the community call, there was some concern about explore uh, insights, just because LFX insights exactly. um, is a thing. Yeah. So Compass is a brand differentiator for this effort. Exactly. Yeah. So we also gave it a Chinese name, Kaiyuan Zhenanzhen. So translated in. In English, it's called uh, an open source compass. So more or less the same as the chaos compass. Nice. And uh, the domain name, we give it compass.chaos.org. Nice. Yeah. So uh, Shen, I maybe uh, uh, next week, uh, I would like to discuss with you and Elizabeth uh, about how to contribute this domain chaos.org to the uh, to our community. So uh, we have to transfer our register account to to the community. Yeah, that's uh, we can help you. I can help you with that. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Thank you. So, uh, for the other, uh, I also would like to share some a little bit the progress of this SaaS platform. And currently, we already start uh, verifying two metrics models. One is community activity, 
data is the service support, uh, community service and support. And in in later of this week, we are going to verify a new uh, metrics model called code quality. And um, all those uh, uh, three metrics model I have uh, uh, give a draft on the Google Doc. Uh, I think we can see it in the previous meeting. Yeah, code quality and community service support. Of course, these two uh, documentation is not that uh, complement. So uh, I'm gonna polish the content and also welcome you to help me to improve the content uh, of these two metrics model. And uh, the next topic I proposed is, um, you know, I remember in the last Asia Pacific meeting, I might mentioned uh, in the whole community, we are, we are, we are doing some uh, invalid um, URLs links track for all the repositories. So um, uh, my colleague, Shenbao, uh, help us to check the, uh, this invalid links uh, exist in the metrics model working group in that repository. And um, they already fixed the three invalid links. And uh, they also found some invalid link from the welcome list. So I attached it here, maybe ask Sin uh, for help to, uh, to fix that. Uh, from this markdown file, we cannot find these two, uh, these three links. You can't find what? This three links are attached oh, into this okay. markdown file. And oh, uh, they are invalid oh. URL. Yeah. So you cannot find it. Yeah, that should be, um, I don't even know why that's in Augur Labs. That should probably be chaos. <laughs> I'm not um, sure. Let me look. Yuhoi, I can help track those down. Sean, I can help track those down. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. And uh, uh, in the next week, uh, we are going to check all the invalid link exists in the translation repository. And uh, I think uh, we kind of need to sync up with the other repository recently. Uh, so my next question is, um, uh, what's the release plan of, of our next version? I mean, the, for the metrics. Are we going to prepare for the translation work? I think the next release is scheduled for after, like, I think we've done our second release in 2022. Mm -hmm. So the next, I think, Elizabeth, tell me if I'm wrong. I think the next release would be early 2023. Okay. Are you, are you talking about metrics? Yeah, or, I think I think I am. Yeah, metrics will have another release in October. October. Okay. Oh, they will. Okay. Great. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you for correcting that. So, yeah, no worries. so we still have two months to prepare the whole translation work, but uh, I think we can follow the last uh, version released uh, progress, like uh, you. Uh, uh, create a new uh, issue on translation repository to tell us which metrics is is ready to be translated and at uh, Spanish and Chinese labels and we can follow up yes. to, to follow the progress. Yes, yeah, we I will, can. I will also, I will also just say, um, Yehoi, I think this metrics release is going to be a little lighter on the number of metrics. Um, because we've been focusing a lot of work on revising old metrics. Exactly. So hopefully the translation burden will be a little lighter as well <laughs> as yeah. it will just you know, cleaning as up you, some old metrics. As you can see that we have a lot of new friends here, so we don't have to worry uh, about our workload. Sorry if I interrupt you guys. So sure. can you hear me? Sure. Back with please. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I heard that you need to need a new version of translation 
in Chinese, that's right. Yes, yes. Uh, maybe I think uh, uh, if you guys don't mind, I can help with that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bakui. Yeah, yeah I, yeah. I've been doing translation work for a few times that mm -hmm. I've been helping uh, one Chinese version of Python book publication. So I have a little experience in translating this kind of work. So uh, if you need any help, you can add my name into this project. Sure, thank you. I shared the, the GitHub repository link here and um, all the translation work would be handled under this project. So as you know, we are Chinese people, so we focus on the Chinese translation. As you can <laughs> that see, makes that sense. we have, yeah, we have yeah. different working group. Uh, uh, I, can, and, I, can, I can see that. Yeah, sure. How, how so, about our... Yeah, um, please, June, okay. please. How, how about our autumn translation tour? The uh, last. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Noted. So yeah, uh, did it right? How how about our uh, yeah? Last year's uh summer OSPP uh that that is another uh open source program that um like like the uh, GSOC in China and uh, there is a student implement uh implement the. Uh, our translation automation um well but um um uh what what he achieved um in his forked uh he, he, in his forked repository is um it supports translating um text in the issues as another issue command and um, by by using um, translating APIs like Google Translation, so okay. I'm not sure if that that helps if that's what we wanted, but that's all he achieved in the last uh, at the end of that program. So could we could we invite him to give us some demo for what he have already done? Oh uh, sure. Can... Yeah, I can. Maybe he can configure because he 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 have he has done that in his own uh, like his um his own repository. The the forked uh, he has I think he has forked the uh, chaos translation repository, but he um didn't configure that in the uh, translation repository. He didn't contribute it to the upstream because uh, we are not sure if uh. That is uh, what the community is expecting because it only supports translation, the text as another issue command, but that's not mm -hmm. the workflow. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, how we did the translation. Sure. Sure. But anyway, uh, I think uh, if if he would like to uh, uh, to make this demo for us, uh, it's really appreciate to welcome sure. him to, to give us the demo. Yeah. OK, I can outreach him recently to see okay. if he can. OK. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I just uh, stopped my uh, screen sh uh, sharing screen, and I will re-share my screen here. What I'm sh uh, showing here for, 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 for you guys is that uh, the backhand of the sensories, this um, poke uh, dashboard. It's, I, I have to mention that this is not a front-end dashboard. We, uh, the front-end implementation is ongoing. And we are just, just using the, the open source dashboard to verify the uh, data the, quality. Uh, yeah. Uh, not, call, not code quality, it's community, it's community activity. Right. Okay. But you're yeah. using the dashboard to verify that the visualizations look right. Yeah. Well. And uh, yeah. we pick up the, uh, yeah, I pick up the over 10,000 uh, uh, project. And yeah. uh, this is just showing the top, top uh, 100. 
uh, activity metrics model dashboard. So you can see that this the whole uh, the the general result of this metrics model, and for uh, we have um, like seven or uh, I don't quite remember that or uh, eight eight metrics to com com composed of this metrics model. As you can see, for each or single metrics, it has explained nations, contributor count, commit frequency. And uh, for this each or single uh, repository, uh, they have the uh, statistics. And uh, the, another one is uh, uh, community support and service. We also uh, uh, to verify it uh, on, uh, over the 10,000 project. And uh, what we're showing here is about top, top 100 community service uh, project. So, uh, as I mentioned, uh, as long as the front end designing work is ongoing, uh, uh, meanwhile, we are going to uh, 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 verify more uh, metrics model already exists in, in the chaos. So finally, in se September or, or October, uh, I mean, our pre-launch plan is on September. So on September, we are going to choose a site of metrics model to be deployed on our uh, service platform to, to let people uh, try to use it. OK. So this is what I'm going to show, showing here. And uh, Sharon and Elvis or any other friends, do you have any more topics to discuss here? Uh, I found the one link. I'm not sure what code of conduct. I mean, we have code of conduct in all of our repos and the CIA mm -hmm. best practices badge is interesting. I can't seem to find it. Well, well, I know yeah, it's we don't have a metric for that. What's interesting is we do have a metric implemented for that so I'm not sure I thought we had a metric for it at some point so we should probably create a metric for that I think and, we do uh, have. I thought we did and <laughs> I couldn't find it when going through stuff so because I know Augur's implemented it mm -hmm. uh, does I it, be find it because of oh. Oh. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I I just wanted to say that. Uh, uh, are we talking about the CI best practice batch? Yes. I'm not sure if uh, because I know we did have that metric, and I'm not sure if the broken link is due to the change of the name of that project because it is called um, Open SSF best uh -huh. practice batch. Yes, it is. I mean, we've implemented it, and that feels like one of the original badge, one of the original oh, yeah. metrics, like one of the first 30 that we did. So I'm not, yeah. I'm a little confused about its disappearance. Yes, yeah, was in risk. It ended up in risk. But the spreadsheet, okay. right, you found the it. Old, yeah, the spreadsheet still has the old name listed. So I'm going to change that. All right. Yeah, there's um, there's been a lot of one of the challenge. One of the things I think chaos has not succeeded at is maintaining a consistent place where you can find our metrics, mm -hmm. and so things move too much, in my opinion. It's, it's, it's a, we've learned a few things along the way, and I think that's going to not be the case anymore. But early on, when we were developing, I think we moved things, and sometimes they become hard to find like this one. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I thank think you for finding that Elizabeth. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Um, Yehoy, I think we can remove the link altogether to code of conduct.md because it's, mm -hmm. it's, it would be, you know, based on whatever project, wherever that is. So I think we can just leave that as yeah. the name and not have it link out. Okay. To anything. Yeah, it's a change in, it's a property of a repository. 
basically mm -hmm. every chaos repository has a code of conduct file. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. But it, yeah. And, and in the metric, we're just looking for that file. So it would be the same as like the metric recommending looking for a readme or something else. So there's, you know, there's nothing to link to. It's just looking to see if that yeah. file yeah. exists in the repository. Okay. Okay. Okay, I can help to uh, create a new pull request to fix that. <laughs> and uh, I also want to mention that, uh, you know, uh, when we create uh, some new metrics model, we have some new metrics. Uh, but as, uh, as Elizabeth mentioned that we are going to have a light version release um, uh, this year. Uh, uh, October. So are we gonna add these new metrics to to this new version release? I think it depends on how well how quickly the working groups if if the metrics are getting passed along to the working groups to develop, which I think is the process, um, then mm -hmm. it just depends on how much they can get done in the time they mm -hmm. have. So I know, for instance, in evolution, we're working on a couple of metrics that are required for a metrics model. Mm -hmm. um yeah and so it just depends on how much that group can get done in that time if that makes sense yeah yeah but i i i just want to mention if um if this working group need any help i can i can make it i can do some support on that yeah i think that would be great especially for metrics that get passed to evolution because that group uh -huh. is kind of light <laughs> I think last time it was myself and Sean and maybe one other person. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, as you can see, let's say I build, as I remember, we have some other uh, download and the CI test. I think these new metrics should be uh, belong to the, you know, the, the, the evolution working group. Yeah. yeah, we're working on the build time one is the one we just started. And yeah, I think that was the request. It's pretty far along. I would say we made good progress in the last meeting yesterday. So I think mm -hmm. we can probably wrap that up in draft form next week or in two weeks. Okay, great. Yohoi, if you do want to look at that metric asynchronously, you know, like on your own time, we can drop that stuff. Are you in the evolution um, Slack channel? Uh, I not. think so. Okay, because we can drop a link to that doc in there and you can look at it whenever it is convenient for you. Because I don't, I don't think the evolution working group might be super convenient for you to attend. Yeah, so, it's definitely at a bad time. <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's so terrible i hate that yeah but but anyway i i, I would look like uh, to check with our matrix uh, tables to see what i can do for these documentations um, i think we have sh sharing here no Do we, uh, do you have uh, our metrics that sheet? I think we have. Oh, I have that. Pulled yeah, up. I'll, drop, I'll drop a link in the chat here. Sure, sure, sure. I have it pulled up already. Uh, you know, I don't think I linked the. Okay, thank you. Sean, did we get it on the spreadsheet? Maybe we didn't even. Get no, it we didn't get. I, we didn't even get it in the notes, so I got to go back and find it. Uh -huh. That's okay. funny. Okay, so I, I I'm trying to I'm trying to get some 
content for this new matrix, which uh, quite important for this matrix model setup. So, uh, should I should I uh, create this new documentation for this matrix description to follow up the matrix template? Say that again. What's the I mean, question? Should I create? Sorry. Should I create a new uh, this? Uh, should I create this new documentations for this new matrix uh, to follow up the matrix no, template? No, because we have um, we've created one of them. <laughs> so, so um, okay. The others, and I think the the other one that we found that was missing, we actually we think we just need to make a revision to an existing metric. So those links already exist. I, I just have okay. to find the one from yesterday and okay, link it. Great. Yohoi, I dropped the minutes in the meet from the evolution meeting yesterday. I dropped that in the chat. So you can see those were the three new metrics we're working on. The build time, event count is the one Sean just mentioned. Okay. And Thank you. activity dates and time we think already have. have. So yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so we okay. have that metric that um, focuses on where events are happening. Um, so mm -hmm. we thought maybe we could use that as an aggregator to just count them mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the metric. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, do we have more uh, topics to be discussed today? I have nothing else. So what about the other guys? Okay, if no, I have other topics. Uh, I just want to bring up that uh, influence metrics model a bit. Um, uh, as we had some discussions in the Slack and also, um, okay, uh, I'll just paste the link first. I think we have this one, right? Yeah. I'll drop that in the meeting in, uh, in the meeting notes. Yeah, I just opened it. So yeah, do you want to share share your screen or we can just um, use this one? Oh, I can use your screen. Sure. And um, I think uh, Ye Hui has uh, made some. Yeah, uh, you you had also made some comment. Um, and I think uh, one of the situation of this uh, uh, matrix model is uh, what it what we really uh, want to emphasize here is a way to aggregate data. And um, and I know that um, uh, traditionally what we what we do in chaos uh, what uh, either. Um, creating metrics or metrics models, we focus on some scenario, but uh, like uh, the graph, uh, using graph is really a way, a mathematical way to um, implement those uh, metrics, uh, implement that scenario, and we can um, obtain data and gather them and um, analyze a new result, uh, a different result to um, uh, answer different um, questions like uh, if you use different um, centrality algorithm uh, or uh, you choose different node and uh, you use different links to construct the graph um, we can answer different questions so um, here uh, so I do uh, want to uh, yeah I just want to have more discussions um, regarding like how we want to um, how how we want to integrate the um the graph mathematical uh, algorithm in the matrix model like uh maybe we we can uh make it as a lower layer 
of um of uh in the matrix model folder that can like uh maybe can support um multiple matrix models. Oh, Shaya, can you help me? Can you help me? Yeah, I can hear. Okay, if I understand correctly, you are suggesting that we uh, replace the graph model uh, functions like a library in the in the matrix models. Yeah, because this is actually a, a toolkit, I think. <laughs> okay. So we can have, um, because as uh, Yehui also pointed out, um, using graph uh, might not uh, not um, be the mo um, the most suitable way to call it um, influence. Like it can also be considered as connectedness, and also as um, Daniel um, ha has um, give us a demo. Um, in uh, in about how great Grimo Lab um, analyzed this uh, by constructing gra graph and um, um, they are trying to address um, the question regarding uh, like finding the the people who are who can uh, who ser serves the role as um, the bridge. So uh, so that's why they use. Um, the between is um the, the between is um centrality to address that yeah i think the fourth thing is that um, uh, the influence influence this terms is kind of big uh, to describe this matrix model so that's why i i suggest uh, to give it uh, more a specific name to let people understand easily to see how it works. So Xiaoya, what you mentioned maybe here is, is supported in, under the Groom Lab. <clears throat> just, just similarly like what you have done, but I, I believe your solution or your mechanism is more complicated and uh, and um, maybe better than, than, than currently what Groom Lab already supported, but uh, the the things I want to mention first, we need to uh, give it a more concrete name of this matrix model, and uh, as you mentioned, how to display it uh, in more friendly way to let people know how to use this matrix model in their real world community. We I think we we can have some um, de detailed discussion after meeting to say how to solve that. Uh, because uh, if if I understand correctly, this matrix model would require a very high uh, performance uh, uh, compute uh, uh, resources to do it. Yeah, right. Any kind of network analysis requires a lot of compute. Yeah. So I don't think we can just use some Jupyter notebook to to handle it like a like a lightweight showing uh, or demo. Yeah, we so, might need some. Uh, okay, sorry, so, sorry to interrupt. <clears throat> what we do with Augur is we just bring it. We do all the analysis behind the scenes and store the results in tables, so that you can generate the graphics without all the compute. I don't know if Grimoire Lab has that option or if the model that you have has that option, but I think yeah. network analytic stuff, because it varies so dramatically depending on the size of the number of nodes, I think you have to be creative about how you execute. Yes, that's also how we, how we do this. We uh, generated uh, tables in the notebook and um, um, but the the graph uh, ha, has have to be rendered rendered in uh, Neo four J da database or uh, some other uh, graph um, yep. computing yeah. engine. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, my uh, as I mentioned first, my my first suggestion that we give it a concrete name. 
uh, of this matrix model, my second suggestion is that could we give it a lightweight or light version of this matrix model to let people easily understand what uh, it uh, would, uh, what it um, would uh, provide any support for any scenarios uh, with simple examples uh, instead of this complicated graph. Because, yeah, it, it, yeah, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, I, because if in that way, uh, I really don't know how to show in it a meaningful way for the people who have interest on this matrix model. Often, oftentimes, I mean, I think many of you know this, oftentimes when you have a network of people like this, it, it doesn't take long for it to become really unimaginable visually. You know, you have like if you took Kubernetes and tried to create a network graph from Kubernetes, you, you would have some trouble because there are so many, um, so many nodes and edges in that network that the visualization becomes difficult. So sometimes network statistics about a project are more effective and practical. So things, you know, things like uh, centrality or, um, yeah. So so. So, so what, I, I, just, yeah. uh, I just want to mention, uh, I, I want to uh, suggest that uh, could we give it uh, an easily more version of this matrix model? Because if we put, uh, a complica uh, put such complicated description of matrix model, it's not that friendly for people who have an interest to, to get knowledge of it. Uh, this makes a lot of sense to me, and uh, as I also uh, commented in the uh, Google Docs, um, we can uh, have definitions of uh, like uh, community influence or developer influence or uh, even something close to, uh, as you suggested, the connectedness. Uh, we can have the definition first, um, um, but um, he, a thought is uh, that the graph model might be a horizontal implementation that can support multiple definitions. Sure, sure. Yeah. If you need okay. more support, we can discuss the after meeting. I sure. Would like to, yeah. That would be great. Thanks. Okay, so that's all from from me. Thank you, Shaya. Okay, okay. If you want to discuss, I would be interested. That would be great. Thanks. Thanks, Liam. Thank you. Thank you, Liam. Okay, do we have any more topics to share today? Well, uh, if uh, I, I can. I have a very quick question. I'm uh -huh. still looking at the spreadsheet, and uh, so my question is: uh, Is this spreadsheet the plan for the release of new metrics in in maybe October? It's a working document. So if you look at the things that are in progress, those are candidates for release. If you look at things that are being considered, those are ideas that we oh, okay. put a put a what do you call it a thumbtack in or something put a pin in it so we want to mm. keep the idea but the active work has not started yet so the released ones will will be uh, are in green in the, oh I yeah see. the ones that are already released are in green and the ones that are actively being worked on in some way or another are in the yellowish and is it yellow I think it's yellowish, it's a very light yellow. And then once they're ready, we move them to purple. So we don't actually have any that are ready for the release yet in this, okay. in risk. Okay, I see. Thank you. And the, and oh, the, yeah, the velocity, yeah. The velocity yeah. of new metric development in this cycle is slower because we're doing reviews of existing metrics. Okay. Okay, thank you.
Okay, if we have no more uh, topics to be discussed today, I think we can close today's meeting. Right? Yeah.